What's going on you guys? I'm Cartel from Hell, back again. And today we're gonna have the unboxing of this life-size Hot Toys Infinity Gauntlet. Now, this is actually a piece that I'm really excited for because I do have that Sideshow Collectibles Thanos on Throne maquette, and I really feel like this uh, life-size prop replica is gonna pair very nicely with that statue. You know, I've actually never had anything Hot Toys related before, but I've always uh, really respected the level of detail and quality that they put into their pieces. So, you know, for me to actually go ahead and get in something Hot Toys related, I'm very excited to go ahead and see for myself um, that level of quality. I have seen in a couple of pictures that the gold that they used on this is, you know, not really the right color that I was really hoping for. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and have to see that for ourselves. We're gonna have to check it out. But yeah, I'm really excited to go ahead and, uh, Dig into this. If you guys could hear that in the background though, we're having a, uh, a like a five day rainstorm in California. So go ahead and disregard any, you know, crazy ass sounds in the background. If uh, Thanos was here, he can go ahead and uh, shenanay finger snap that storm back where it came from. But for now, we're just gonna have to deal with it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get that ceremonial sippy sippy going on. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and get a smell like China up in this motherfucker. Yeah, baby. <sighs> yes, sir. Nothing like pairing a brand new piece with a little bit of sippy sippy. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and crack that, baby. I love how Hot Toys has this uh, tape with their logo on it. So you can tell if your piece has ever been opened or not. Nice little touch. A couple companies do that. I know XM Studios does that. They got that uh, very premium black tape that they use on theirs. Theirs is actually probably the nicest. But yeah, it's nice to know if your piece has been, uh, you know, tampered with. We're going to go ahead and make this unboxing a little quicker than that uh, Prime One Studios Venom. Because that piece just had way too many uh, parts with it. This one, I don't think it's going to be as difficult. Damn, that's a big ass box. bro damn it's crazy this shit ain't even taped up see that hot toys what are you doing to me dog y'all is crazy for that one i mean i guess you could just lift this straight out of uh the packaging and not take the styrofoam out at all but still bro that's not smart at all man Alright, but <laughs> at least I don't have to cut it open. Damn. Craziness. That fucker is hella big. Wow. That's pretty damn big, you guys. That's no joke. That's gonna fill out a, uh, a cube very nicely. Yeah, let's go ahead and dig into it. Thanos with that shenanay snap. The spirit fingers. <laughs> Damn, you guys, this shit is crazy. I'm really excited uh, that this colored gold actually looks very gold in person. 
you know, from a lot of those pictures that I've seen, they didn't look too gold, man. But yeah, here, here you guys go. We're gonna have the base right here, the infinity gauntlet right here, and looks like it's gonna be some type of uh, instruction booklet, maybe an art print. I'm not too sure. Haven't really checked that out yet. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what's popping with that. All right, so I'm thinking that this is maybe an art print and uh, possibly instructions. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so yeah, we we'll get a little art print of uh, the gauntlet itself and some instructions. So yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, I'll probably never display it. You know, I do love Infinity Gauntlets, but I already have um, the piece itself, you know. That's one thing that I've never really cared for is, you know, art prints that show the exact image as the statue. If you're going to have an art print included with, you know, a collectible, make it a little bit different from, uh, from what, what we're already buying, you know what I mean? It's kind of redundant to have two images of the same thing. But yeah, man, nonetheless, it's cool, whatever. It's an added bonus. Let's go ahead and see what's up with these instructions right quick. All right, you guys, so scan it over the instructions. You know, it's just going to basically tell you to go ahead and connect the base to the gauntlet um, with the electrical components first. And then it's telling you, you know, it's probably better to have two people to put the piece together. Uh, I just got myself, so I'm pretty much fucked <laughs> out of the gate. <laughs> but whatever. And, uh... The other instruction is just connect the electrical um, cord to uh, you know your own power brick to the wall so you can power the piece up. They do not give you a power brick. You have to supply your own. And then they also show you some, uh, some replacement techniques to go ahead and replace those soul gems. But yeah, that's about it, man. Let's go ahead and get it going. Let's get that base out. Probably going to have to back you guys up off me um, after I get that base out because... That gauntlet is going to be a lot taller than the shot itself. Yeah, this base has some really nice weight to it. I'm not entirely sure what it's made out of. Probably plastic. I don't know. Maybe polystone. We're going to have to check it out. We'll have to check it out, man. So it does say that you can replace, um, you know, those soul gems, but it doesn't look like they give you actual replacements. So maybe that's just if one is, you know, faulty and they need to send you one out. Yeah, this base has some really good weight to it, man. Very, very impressed with the weight so far. When I seen it in pictures, I was like, hmm. The base is looking kind of generic. But it's got that, you know, felt bottom. That's one thing I miss about OG sideshow pieces is that felt bottom they used to have. Because they used to slide into your display effortlessly, man. Very nice. You know, those little pads that they put on the bottom of pieces nowadays, they like grip onto a... Uh, onto the floor of your display. Yeah, it's looking very premium. The logo's really nice on it. It's not really raised. It's more to just like stuck on there like a sticker. But it's got a really nice look to it. It's got a goldish look to the emblem. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and back you guys up a little bit so we can get that gauntlet in the same shot while we're going ahead and uh, attaching these together. Yeah, it's got some yeah, it's really nice feel. I guess this is poly, polystone too, man. Feels like it. I was expecting for this to be like plastic or something. Dope. 
Feeling it. All right. Let's get that gauntlet out. But yeah, you guys, I'm very impressed with the fit and finish and quality of this, uh, the material of the base so far. It definitely has to be made out of polystone or something. It even has these little felt rubber pads inside the, uh, the holder in the base so that you don't scratch up the internal um, resting key inside the gauntlet. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and plug it in right quick. Looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, get these both plugged in at the same time. I'm going to see if both these wires are the same length. It should be. It looks like they are. Yep, same wire. You want to be careful with these so you don't scratch up your base. Boom, baby. So yeah, I think the gauntlet is going to come down a little bit so that you're not going to see that connector. But yeah, let's go ahead and get that gauntlet out. Oh man, this is going to be no joke. <laughs> I swear you guys, the shit that I buy... <laughs> it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger, man. So, they have it double wrapped. Double wrapped, baby. It's like the other one was regular uh, plastic. This one seems like it's taped on here. Yeah, this one's definitely taped on here. I don't know why they would tape that shit on. Hmm. I don't know why you would want tape so close to uh, material you want to adhesive on your piece but whatever no big deal damn you guys this shit is straight up quality right here fuck yeah I'm impressed so far man this fucker's heavy dude <laughs> What the fuck? What's really going on right now? Damn. Yeah. That's massive, you guys. That's really, really, really massive. Wow. That's insane. Alright. See if I can go ahead and plug that in. Actually, you know what? It's probably going to be easier to plug it into the gauntlet first. Well, I guess I could cancel my uh, my gym membership because this fucker is giving me a workout. Alright, let me try it from this angle.
There she goes. Yep. Once it goes in, it like sucks it in kind of. All right, now let me see if I could connect that USB. You can kind of reach your hand up in there a little bit. It's pretty tight though. There she goes. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. Yeah, man. This thing is a royal pain in the ass to go ahead and plug in. But yeah, that's how you're going to want to do it if you're by yourself. Go ahead and plug in that USB um, cable into the gauntlet first. Put the gauntlet on and then go ahead and plug in the USB to the bottom of the base. But uh, one thing you want to know to make it easier on yourself, if the gauntlet is facing this way, that white um, connector of the USB, the one that sticks out a little bit all the way to the end of the USB, it's closer to me. So just remember that if you're going to go ahead and assemble this yourself, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Yeah, baby. What do you guys think, man? Looking good so far or what? So yeah, it, I was a little worried that it wasn't going to be like very stable when it sits inside the base, but obviously I'm spinning it around. It's super stable. The material, you guys, is just, you know, it's pure polystone, man. It's, it's very, very, very heavy. I think it was like 55 pounds for the shipping of the, uh, of the packaging. But, you know, when you usually get like a 50, uh, 50 pound statue, a 35 pound statue, it's usually like a lot of different pieces um, all together that is making up that weight but because this is just two pieces you know <laughs> that weight doesn't get dispersed um, you know all over the place it's just two big ass pieces so yeah this this gauntlet is not easy to uh, put together I've put together a lot of pieces you guys and uh, this is probably <laughs> It's it's difficult, man. It's it's no joke. But if I could do it, you could do it, right? Looking very good, you guys. Let's go ahead and grab a power brick and power this baby up, man. Let's we'll see what uh let's we'll see what it does. All right, you guys. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, the light up features. So this first light up feature, it's just gonna be an on mode. You know, fully on. And it looks really good because it's very bright and vibrant when it's in this mode right here. I'm definitely going to be using this mode a lot. <laughs> those uh, those Soul Gems Infinity Stones, man. They look badass. I love all the texture that they put into them. It's very different from, you know, the comic version. Just gives it a little bit more to look at. You know, just like the rest of the Infinity Gauntlet compared to uh, the comic version. But yeah, I love I love both versions, you guys. I think this shit is dope. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out that other light up feature. Boom. And this one right here, you guys, is the pulsing, you know, breathing mode. They call it, Hot Toys calls it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this mode a lot too. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm, I'm going to use the most. You know, it's very nice though because this uh, this light up feature, it does come with a little USB. So you can go ahead and plug it into like a power bank, you know, like a portable power bank so that you don't have to have this plugged into your wall or the rest of, uh, you know, your extensions or all that shit inside your display. You can just go ahead and uh, hide one behind the Infinity Gauntlet in your display and, you know, power that shit up separately. And... It will work perfectly, man. It'll be really nice. You won't see any wires or anything. But yeah, you know, the light-up features are very nice in it. Um, I'm happy with two light-up features. I don't really think it needs any, um, any sound effects or anything like that. Would be kind of cool to have a little bit of sound effects. Just... You know, like that uh, Marvel Legends, Infinity Gauntlet. That shit has hella sound effects, and it's a $100 toy. But, I don't know. I think this is more... Uh, 
I don't know. It just doesn't need it, I guess. It's it's fine. But yeah, you guys, I go all out when it comes to Infinity Gauntlets. You know, I really love um, Infinity Gauntlets. I love Thanos. Definitely one of my all-time favorite characters. I go all out with this shit, you guys. I even picked up... I couldn't wait, man. I was waiting forever for the Infinity Gauntlet to come in, the life-size one. I went ahead and got the, uh, the $100... Hot Toys Infinity Gauntlet. This shit's actually really nice. Um, the gold on it is way more gold than the life-size one is. Way more gold. But the life-size one has all kinds of uh, weatherization. And it's almost like battle damaged. But uh, I guess you can't say battle damaged because it's not like scratched. But, you know, it's definitely uh, battle used. You know, Thanos, Thanos don't get damaged though. Motherfucker don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not going to be all damaged up. But yeah, very uh, weatherized. But look at the difference, you guys. So different when it comes to the gold paint. In the pictures, I was really worried because the gold paint on the life-size one was like... Almost like silverish, a pewter, a pewter color, and uh, in person it's just so much more gold, you guys. So I'm I'm very happy to say that you know it is way more gold than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that it's super gold like the Infinity Gauntlet on the front of the cover, on the Infinity Gauntlet number one because it's not. You know, it's nothing like that. It's the movie version, not the comic version. But that being said, it would be nice for it to be a little bit more gold. I wouldn't mind it to be a couple, you know, tints deeper gold than what it is. Um, but it does have a nice paint job, though, because it's like a very uh, multi-layered paint job. It's not, you know, one-dimensional because it has that weatherization, you know. But yeah, what you guys are seeing in camera because of the the light the lighting in here and my uh, camera setup it's just not gonna look the same as it looks in person it's uh it's almost there it's almost there from what you what I'm seeing what you guys are seeing but yeah it's not 100% the same but yeah I'm fucking digging it you guys that base is super premium it's not made out of plastic or anything it's 100% polystone um, it's very heavy and a very cool thing about the base, you guys, is the uh, the bottom of the base has a felt lining and not the little rubber pads that most statues have. So this thing right here, when you go ahead and put it inside your display, it's just going to slide in there very nicely and uh, you're not going to have too much problem getting it into your, your display. Now it is 29 inches tall and 15 and a half inches um, deep and 15 and a half inches wide. Maybe a little bit wider than 15 and a half inches just because his thumb sticks out a little bit. It might be more like 16 inches um, wide, but I don't really think that's going to be the biggest problem for most people because most people have bestas. Bestas are like 14 and a half inches uh, deep. So this thing right here is 15 and a half inches deep. So it's not going to fit in a besta perfectly, but because you don't have rubber pads and you just have one flat piece of felt on the bottom you can go ahead and slide it into a Vesta and it's gonna overhang like maybe a half an inch over the shelf itself um, you could stack a second shelf on top of it to go ahead and uh, and you know stack a second shelf on top of one shelf and kind of overlap it a little bit so that at least the front of the base will be flush with the shelf itself but I don't really think it'd be necessary you guys because you know there's no rubber pads so it's not going to tip in your display so yeah I could see it going in a Vesta no problem even though it's going to overhang a little bit definitely it's going to fit in the packs no problem no doubt about that you guys would be perfect but it is really heavy so you're going to want to go ahead and uh, reinforce that shelf um, if you guys haven't checked out how to do that, I already put out a video about that like eight months ago. So go ahead and check that out if you need some assistance. And uh, yeah, man, 
just love it. I'm very happy to have the Infinity uh, Gauntlet, the life-size joint in my collection. I've never done a complete review or review at all on this Sideshow Thanos maquette. If you guys want me to go ahead and bust one out, man, let me know. I'll go ahead and review this. Um, I never did an unboxing either. I just, I got it in, you know, I was super busy and I just never did it. But yeah, we got that, that little Infinity Gauntlet, that little, they say it's quarter scale. Um, Mondo also put out these dope ass, you know, enamel pins. This is an Infinity Gauntlet enamel pin from Mondo. And then got that Thanos portrait from Mondo as well. These enamel pins are very high quality, guys. Only 10 bucks, too. It's crazy. Um, they're badass, though, man. I love them. I've picked up a whole bunch of these. But, yeah, I was very happy to see that these were being released. Super dope. And that uh, Sideshow Collectibles um, Infinity Gauntlet that, that they have at uh, Comic-Con last year, 2018, at uh, San Diego. But yeah, it's dope, man. I love Infinity Gauntlet, you guys. It's, it's ridiculous. Like I've already shown you guys, the uh, Infinity Gauntlet number one. I, you know, I've been thinking about picking up the whole series of these, um, CGC. But uh, definitely, I've been thinking about picking up Infinity Gauntlet number one um, signed. You know, I really feel like this would be something nice to have signed. So, what else do we have here? got that i've had this for the longest time though you guys the uh infinity gauntlet omnibus this right here you guys definitely a very good read you know i really recommend you guys picking this shit up um actually you know what it's out of print right now so what i would really recommend you guys picking up is this because you can still get it and it has everything in here plus some That's the uh, the Infinity Gauntlet box set. Now this thing right here, I think it retail for like 500 bucks. Um, there's nothing in here right now because I have all the books in my display case already. But uh, yeah, I think it retail for like 500 bucks and you can pick it up on uh, in stock trades for like 290. It have, I think it's still available, man. It's, it was available for the longest time. It went out of print or just went out of stock and then it came back like a couple months later. And I was tripping too because everybody was saying that I wasn't going to come with this little uh, fabric poster that the first one came with. But it landed up coming with it. So let's go ahead and check that out. So yeah, it came with it. You know, I was like, damn dude, that's going to suck paying the same price as everybody else and then not getting the little fabric poster but yeah it ended up coming with it so i was really excited about that shit is dope shit is dope as fuck it's got everybody on there it's got drax silver surfer mr death spider-man dr strange got them all on there yeah dude it's dope i love it you know it's that infinity gauntlet number one cover super sick very nice to have a full size, big ass Infinity Gauntlet number one cover. It's dope, man. I love it. But yeah, I was kind of worried about that when that happened. So just so you guys know, if you want to order it, man, if it's still up, it's most likely going to have this fabric poster in it. But yeah, I, I just, I dig Thanos a lot, you guys. It's ridiculous how much I love Thanos. I used to have that uh, yeah, XM Studios Thanos. Um, statue I sold it a couple years back and I'm really regretting it um, but the only thing is the first time I bought it it was ridiculous price and now it's like really cheap you guys you probably get it for like 800 bucks 700 bucks if you're lucky um, with coin <laughs> this shit is crazy I don't know if it was just because this guy coming out or what but yeah I definitely uh, want to pick that piece back up I love it man it's a dope ass piece I should have never sold it um, that and this last Christmas I just passed, they also had these, uh, little Infinity Gauntlet toys at Target. They were in, like, the stocking stuffer, um, section, and, uh, they're really dope, man. They're super shiny, like, 
blinged out gold metallic plastic you know but they have all the different infinity stones that you can go ahead and collect and then place them onto the uh infinity gauntlet themselves so yeah you guys i'm just whenever i see anything infinity gauntlet related i have to buy it man i can't help myself i just love this shit so much so uh so yeah i got a couple of these and yeah you gotta you gotta go ahead and get the little stones for them and uh and complete the uh the gauntlet themselves yeah it's very rare for me to pass up on the infinity gauntlet shit honestly i can't help myself you guys you know, it's so bad, I'm even gonna, like, double, triple, quadruple dip on that uh, Infinity Gauntlet hardcover that's gonna be coming out, I think in like a month on uh, In Stock Trades. I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna get it anyways. But yeah, you guys, I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. If you guys have purchased this Infinity Gauntlet, congratulations. If, uh, if you're on the fence, I hope this video helped you out. And, uh... If you guys want to check out more pictures of this and other statue pictures and, you know, collection pictures, be a little bit more updated with what I got going on, go ahead and check me out on Instagram at Cartel From Hell. And yeah, man, nothing but love to everybody that lasted all the way. And for anybody else, any of you fucking haters out there, I got one thing to say to y'all. Go to sleep, ho. It's past your bedtime.